know, you may not know all of this, but let me know if anything I say is incorrect. Michael Richard was out of prison for two months before he murdered Marjorie Dixon. In August 1986, Michael Richard robbed, raped, and murdered Marjorie in her home. He did not know her. Marjorie was a 53-year-old mother of seven. Michael Richard was arrested the next day. He confessed to the murder. In September 1987, Michael Richard was convicted of capital murder and sentenced to death. Michael Richard was on death row for 20 years and was executed in September 2007. There is not the slightest doubt that Michael Richard murdered Marjorie Dixon. The stay, which Justice Keller denied, had nothing to do with the question of whether Michael Richard should be executed, only the method of execution. Well, I wouldn't think that's correct. The date of execution, not the method. Well, I thought that the issue was whether the Supreme Court was going to issue a stay relating to the use of lethal injections. Well, yes, but I mean, I think on the facts that we know of, as we know them, the only thing her action did was move up by eight months his date of execution. Okay, but the legal issue that was in question on that day was whether lethal injection was constitutional. Yes, that is correct. But there was no, the stay had nothing to do with the question of whether he should be executed at some point. That is correct. Even guilty parties have a right to due process. Well, I understand that. I'm not intending to, I'm just trying to get the background facts here so that I have the background and then we can deal with the immediate constitutional issue. Justice Keller violated no state statute and no written rules of the Court of Criminal Appeals. I don't know if that's correct, but it might be. And then here's one I'm not sure about that you might help me with. Any one of the nine justices could have accepted the filing after 5 p.m. That is correct. Thank you. Now, that's one of, I understand, her defenses is that being told that the court's closed, the clerk's office is closed, they knew that they could have gone to a judge's house. But I, as I mentioned earlier, I wrote a book on appellate procedure and I cover that, that you can, up to midnight, you can knock on a judge's or a clerk's office and file something. But the problem is that works only when you're trying to meet a deadline, not when, in fact, you need the court to act by, in a very short period. And once you've been told by the Chief Justice, essentially, that you can't file something, why would you think you could go do a hand run about what the Chief Justice has told you? So it's not like in a civil case where he would file something at, you know, a few minutes to midnight. He would have been dead by then. This was at almost 6 o'clock or just past, you know, just almost 6, and he was executed two and a half hours later. Well, but they had time to go to the United States Supreme Court in between. Your point being? You're talking about the shortness of the time, but they had enough time to go to the United States Supreme Court. Well, I don't know that. I don't think so. Maybe I misunderstand, Will, what you're stating, but what happened on the day of the execution is the U.S. Supreme Court ruled on a different pending execution, not even in the state of Texas. It was in Kentucky, I believe, and I laid that out in my original comments. The reason people all over the country filed for stays was that, in essence, challenged the whole question of death penalty in this country. I understand all that, Lon. It's my understanding that at 7.30 p.m., the United States Supreme Court denied Richard's appeal. Well, they may have faxed something to him, but if they'd been told by the Court of Criminal Appeals, I don't know. I've never heard that. But that still wouldn't justify anything Judge Keller did in this case. Now, the first— Just a second. We've got more questions. Yes, ma'am. You are giving us a legal tutorial, and I appreciate it. 
if I were to shoot a man uh, and kill him, who is terminally ill with cancer, and the doctors have given him eight months to live, would I still be charged with murder? Yes, you would. And would I still be guilty of murder? Yes, you would. Thank you. Uh, Jail.